Well, good afternoon, folks. It is a uh, an autumnal day here in North Lincolnshire in the UK. Still bikeable. Just been out on my bike to the post office again. Um, I'm posting this video actually because I don't know if anybody's familiar with the old adage of um, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Well, I'm flattered. I'm flattered. Um, Anybody looking at my little uh, channel here will know that for, what, well over a year now, um, I have been supplying many, many owners worldwide with a relocation kit, which um, allows the rectifier regulator, uh, the, the stock position on the interceptor and the GT is under the bike attached to the engine. and. I get emails from people all over the world every day, virtually, um, with tales of woe about these rectifiers burning out. So I, well over a year now, I, I uh, built a prototype and uh, tested it on my own bike. And then since then, I've been providing what I've referred to as the full Monty Plus kit in a previous video. Um, as you can see, you, it's uh, plug and play extension cables, which are uh, permit the rectifier to be mounted either under the oil cooler or under the lower steering yoke of the bike. And you can see there a simple alloy bracket, stainless steel fasteners, and the rectifier itself goes onto that metal plate. So this is the exact same setup I've had on my bike for well over a year. And people have made some really, you know, technically brilliant brackets um, if they've got the facility to do it but by popular demand um, I produce this simple one which does the job it's not even visible when it's mounted on the bike as you'll see from the subsequent pics now the reason I'm saying imitation is the sincerest form of flattery two reasons really um, somebody has basically sort of realized somewhat belatedly what a great idea this is. And they've started trying to sell cables. Oh yes, I won't say who it is, but it's taken them a year to realize and then they just jumped in. I don't think much to it, to be honest, and I won't be buying anything from them ever again. However, they should remain nameless. But the other aspect, more positive of um, imitation being the sincerest form of flattery is that I've received quite a few emails over the last couple of days about the rather exciting looking Royal Enfield Bear, 650 Bear. Um, and guess what? The rectifier regulator on that bike is mounted under the oil cooler. So I think Royal Enfield, on the Himalayan, I think the rectifier is actually in the same location as it is on the GTs and the interceptors, namely attached to the engine, um, sort of dangling down a bit in the case of the Himalayan. Um, but certainly on the Bear, they have relocated it. Well, not relocated it, they have located it um, under the oil cooler. And of the many people that have bought these cable kits from me some people because they've got steering dampers or just personal preference they've mounted theirs under the oil cooler as well that's been done quite a lot um, so it can go under the lower steering yoke or triple tree as it's referred to in uh, America uh, and other places and it can also go underneath the the oil cooler so that's an example there in that picture as you can see that that one on that splendiferous bike which puts mine to shame because it's so clean and shiny um, that one's under the lower steering yoke and oh, so I, don't, I can't remember whose bike it is maybe if somebody if you can tell me because I get so many photos and I lose track if you can identify your bike from that post in the comments um, so basically what it's accomplishing is um, it's allowing the rectifier to live in a clean, a clean, cooler place um, so the cooling fins work. 
So there you can see one there. That's using one of the brackets in the full Monty Plus kit. So you can't see it once it's on the bike. Um, it's not the, the brackets I provide are, as I say, exactly what I've got on my own bike. No, they're not. As, they're not as technically brilliant as some of the homemade ones that people have made. You know, with CNC machines and laser cutting and that. But it's absolutely up to the job. And as I say, once it's mounted, you don't even see it. And here are some pictures. I'm sure Royal Enfield won't mind me putting these on. Just look underneath the, the oil cooler. You've got your two big shiny nuts and bolts there. And then below that you've got two... Uh, well, I, would, I don't know are they stainless. I would hope they were. Um, but there's the rectifier regulator. Look. So that's the new model. I mean, unfortunately... Um, this doesn't help the many tens of thousands of GT and Interceptor owners who've got the rectifier in the stock position under the bike. Um, like I say, I get an email, I, I would say on every, every two days, if sometimes more, um, more, than, you know, uh, more than one message every two days, I might get two or three in one day. But on average, once every couple of days, I'll get an, um, an email from somebody somewhere in the world who'll say, my rectifier's burned out, or my red charging lights flashing on um, and it's because of that overheating so there it is there's another shot side view you can see it just on the right of the exhaust header little thinned box there it is which is a far better place to put it and I think uh, you know well done Royal Enfield for finally addressing it I mean I'd say it doesn't really help the tens of thousands of people out there but that is obviously where my relocation kit comes in so I received an email from somebody, I think it was in Indonesia yesterday, who said, you've been vindicated, you know, you've been doing this idea for a year. Um, other people are trying to pick up on it and muscle in on the action a bit, which is all very flattering. However, um, Royal Enfield have quite clearly improved it on this bike. And I would hope that on future Interceptors and GTs, they did the same thing. Because, as I say, it's, it's, uh, I've sent them all over the world, these kits. I've only just got back from the post office. Indonesia, Malaysia, Britain, America. Um, that was, yeah, I said seven off today. So, people still do say, you know, why, you know, they'll ask a question, why do people do this? Um, I hope it's, you know, fairly apparent. Um... My email address is in the video description, so if anybody is considering doing this, um, you can, you, you're welcome to email me. And uh, the full Monty kit plus, you get everything in it, so you just undo the box and that's it, you get the whole job done. And uh, you'll have a happier rectifier as a result. So there you go, round of applause for Royal Enfield, finally. And uh, let's see if they alter future, future interceptors and GTs. And uh, in the meantime, I welcome comments and uh, your thoughts on it. And uh, I'll post again soon. Bye for now.